In a previous tutorial, we covered Zapier and how Zapier can save you a whole lot of time. Now we're looking at one of its competitors, IFTT, which stands for If This Then That. If This Then That is a simple automation tool that helps you save hours and hours in everyday tasks in your life. What I love about If This Then That is that it integrates not only into your life, but also into your home, which we will be getting to in just a moment. But before we get into it, remember to click on that subscribe button and follow us for more content just like this. Let's get started right from the beginning, setting up your account. So all you need to do, go over to the home page, get started, and you can connect your accounts immediately. Whether you're an iPhone or an Android user, there's something for you with this. You can use it to automate your home, to automate your business or something else. And we're going to show you just a few of these uses in a moment. Once you've done that, it's going to bring you to a page where you can choose your favorite apps and you can go ahead and do that. This is going to help customize your experience for you. Unlike Zapier, there is a lot of functionality behind their Gmail integration. So if you're a Gmail user, type in Gmail and you'll see all the integration. Just like Zapier has Zaps, if this then that has applets. These are little apps that run in the background automating so much function in your life. And you'll find applets that the community makes and uses on a regular basis. Now each one has a rating system as to how many people are actually using it. So that is great. You can see which one is very popular, which ones people are relying on, and that's going to help you make decisions about which applets you can use to streamline your life. Now let's look at applying some of the uses. What I'd like to do is create an RSS feed to an email digest. I would like to receive email updates regarding AI. First of all, I'm going to go and find a, a relevant RSS feed on a weekly basis. So all we need to do is go to the explore tab and we type in RSS feed to email digest. You'll see there's one here with 7,000 users already. So let's go ahead and use that one. And look how simple this is. All it does is ask me to put in the feed. I save it, I connect it, and then it brings me to the applet page where I can edit it. Now, these are the simple steps, and this is the cool thing about it. It says, if this, then that, okay? So if is the trigger, the trigger is the new feed item, then it's going to email me. So I'm going to go ahead, and if I want to, I can change the specifics of the email, where I can change the name, the body title, all of those details, or I can just leave it as it is. If I update that and I update the trigger, it'll then bring me to this page over here where it tells me it's connected and I can also check the activity of this log. So I waited a few days and I checked. So as you can see, it's come up with AI news. And if I go into the emails, I can see, oh wow, it's given me a whole lot of information. So now it stops me scrolling the internet because I can get updates directly to my mailbox. How cool is that? So that's a simple use that we can use. Now let's have a look at tracking our time. So I'd like a way of tracking the amount of time I spend uh, in and around my house. So if I go time track, you'll see there's a whole lot of options here. What I want to choose is this one over here that says track how much time you spend at a certain location via Google Calendar. I think that would be a, very useful for me at this point to see, especially if I'm wasting time uh, in a specific place doing a specific thing. If this then that does all the heavy lifting for me and I just need to integrate my calendar uh, and then I need to put in my location. So it picks up exactly the, the area that I would like to track. It's then going to integrate with my mobile device. Now, this is important because your phone is has a ton of data that major data companies are mining every single day. Why not mine that for yourself as well? So as soon as I've downloaded the app, it's going to be able to track for me exactly where I am and how much time I spend in a certain location. Very, very cool. So I can set that specific location. Now, let's look at another use. What I'd like to do is create a folder in my Google Drive that saves all of my screenshots. I like to often save relevant posts and things like that, but I often get it cluttered and mixed up with all the other things in my uh, photo albums. So I wanna do that. So first thing I do is head over to the Explore tab, go specifically iOS screenshot or iPhone screenshot. Now to use this, you're gonna to need to sign up for the pro version, which is literally $3 a month. I mean, look at that. 
absolutely nothing for what it can do. Once I've done that, it's going to ask me to connect my accounts. And then I'm going to head over to my phone. So I'll go over to Instagram and I'll take a couple of screenshots. And let's see how it works. And right away, it's created a new folder in my drive called If This Then That. If I click in it, look at that. I've got my screenshots that have arrived here. It integrates so well into your phone to save you time. If you, like so many people, live off your phone and you want to save time, If This Then That is a great place to start. So let's look at some of the other things that it can do. Let's say you want to receive news about the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, and you want to receive updates. You can do that right away. These applets have been created for you, which is pretty incredible. Let's say you use a different app as well. So Slack, if you click on that, it's going to bring you across to show you the kind of triggers, the queries, and the actions that are currently available. If they're not available, you can make them yourself. But so many people have done it already for you. This is an app that millions of people around the world are using. And as they get more functionality out of it, so do you. That's just a couple of the uses. What about the other uses? Well, let's say you want to use it for social media purposes. You type in social media and you'll see that you can link your social media accounts. You can schedule Twitter posts. You can even post to Facebook as well. There's a ton of integration there. Now let's look at iPhone uses. If you type in iPhone, you'll see that there's tons of things that you can do that will integrate natively into your iPhone and save you time there. What about Android? Well, they've got you covered as well with a ton of Android choices as well. And then what about your home? Now, if this, then that is the go-to when it comes to smart home integrations. So if you have a smart home, if you have an Alexa or some kind of voice command or anything that could be automated in your home, look at this, tons of things that you can do there. So let's talk about pricing quickly. With regard to pricing, you have two applets for free that you can use forever. It's unlimited runs. If you're willing to splash out a bit more for $4 a month, look, you can get 20 applets. You have Twitter integrations and a whole lot of other things that you can do. For $13 a month, not only do you get everything uh, in the pro account, you also have AI integration. So if you want to use AI to build blog posts for you, to do research for you, to automatically post, if this then that has a native AI service that they provide for $12.50 a month that will post for you, that will generate blog posts for you and do a whole lot of things. And that is a steal in itself. So this is if this then that it's definitely worth checking out. Remember, all the links that you'll need will be in the description below. And as always, remember to like and subscribe for more content just like this.